Hello there everybody, Demon Gmod here, and welcome back to some more Poke Park Pikachu's Adventure. In the last episode, we befriended a crap ton of Pokemon. Don't believe me? We went from what was it, like 6 to 23 in one episode. So yeah, we got a lot done. We also managed to go visit Venusaur, who told us that he's not willing to give Chikorita back, apparently. Or forgive us. Until we've beaten both Krogunk and Spearow at their respective games. Because they're the keepers of the zone and he trusts them. So on this episode, we're going to do just that. And normally I'd cut up the loading screen, but it's just so cute. We got to watch it. Alright. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor Pikachu. Just... Oh. <laughs> just... <laughs> Anyways, though. That convenient enough. Krogunk's just right here for us to talk to him. What? Vina wants me to battle you? You give me no choice. Getting to play the villain is kind of cool, wouldn't you say? <laughs> you want a battle? Alright, here we go. Bring it on, let's start. Alright, Krogan, let's see what you got. Alright, I'm gonna take it that sludge bomb. Probably not, though. Just gonna take it off of guessing. That Thunderbolt, the quick attack combo, is really good at the start of the game. Like, oh, frick. Uh, what the heck? Did he walk into the Thunderbolt hitbox? Because that's the only way that would have made sense. I gave you back your berries and shared with you with you a little secret. You should go easy on me. What? You didn't use all your strength? Hmm. We used to have a tough guy here. He's gone now. But he might come back to challenge someone as tough as you. And that Krogan's now our friend. And also, Cypher has come for skill games. You know, he, he wants to improve, you know? He's getting ready for the big leagues. So, I guess we gotta go talk to him eventually. And, Krogan was not kidding when he said he's a tough guy. Cypher can actually give you a lot of trouble if you're not ready for him. Believe me, he's actually the first Pokemon I ever lost to in Poker Park history. So, that was um, an experience for me. I wasn't expecting him to actually be so tough in the first area, but he really was. Now, the other Pokemon we need to find... Oh, sorry, Patrizu. The other Pokemon we need to find is actually over here, believe it or not. You can see right there it is Spiro, and Spiro is really small, but here he is. What? He used to told you to play a skill game against me. Oh, my. He must treat... Well, he must trust me so much. So, aren't you going to play Obstacle Hop? That's right. There's another type of skill game we haven't gone over, which is, well, Obstacle Hop. Come on, step up. Obstacle Hot is pretty simple. Basically, you have a starting point, and the, the Pokemon you're talking to is the end point. And you have to reach them through platforming, essentially. And when you fall down, it's not automatic game over. You just have to reach them in the time limit. So, that's all there really is to it. Very simple. One, two, three. As you can tell, this one's really simple. They get a bit more complicated later on. I disappointed in myself. That was a letdown. You left me no choice. Please be my friend. <laughs> Way to change the tone right there, buddy. Alright, and by befriending Spiro and defeating Krogan, we have met both of Venusaur's requirements. So, how about we get going? But before we actually do that, I want to direct our attention over this way. To... where is it? Uh, wait. Did I walk past it? Okay, this part of Poke Park, this always makes me have a brain fart. I don't know why. It's not very hard to find. I just always have a brain fart trying to find it. Okay, there it is. Over this way. We over here, we have Leafeon here. I don't know about you, but I really do like Leafeon. He or she or... It's pretty cool. We have so many friends. I want to play Chase with you. Can we play Chase? Normally, I'd be more than happy to play Chase if you leave you on, but believe it or not, you are going to not want to play Chase for now. Also, a thing that should be noted is that the evolutions of Poker Park 1 were kind of differently how you need to have a certain quota of friends in the given area that they are in. And luckily for us, leave you on, we already have enough, so we don't have to worry about that. But trust me, you cannot catch Leafy on at the moment. She is too quick, so don't bother. Okay. And she just walks on off. And wait, is she actually gonna leave? Okay, now I was gonna say, is she actually gonna leave the flower garden area? Because I've never seen her leave this little area over here before, which is kind of weird that she was actually looked like she was gonna leave for a minute. And box, what you got? Got a berry, looking nice. 570. Looks like a lot, but trust me, it really isn't anything. And look at all the clovers. 
One of these. Oh, there it is. Four leaf clover. There we go. I'm lucky. All right. Before we go back to Venusaur, I want to challenge the big bad Cypher himself. I want to battle a couple opponents just like you. Why don't we have a battle? All right. Here we go. All right. Bring it on. Not only the Cypher has more HP than you, but his attacks are actually very potent, as you're about to see. Not that one. But the, he has a projectile and a melee attack. His melee attack is okay. His projectile is what makes him actually deadly. And I am actually doing really well for what I expected. Never mind. Cypher was a complete joke around this time. Okay. I'll take it. But last time I played against him, he, like, almost destroyed me. Like, not on my first playthrough, like when I was a kid, but like the playthrough I did like two months ago to make sure that I re re could remember this game for when I played it. He destroyed me. Like I had like half an HP bar left and I barely won the fight. Thank for the granted zone if you want to meet tough opponents. Anyways, so with that, we befriended Cypher. And with that, we, I believe, besides a certain Pokemon, which is a side quest in the area, which we're not going to be taking care of quite yet. We'll do it a bit later, though. I think we've befriended every Pokemon possible up to this point. Again, except for that one Pokemon, which is a side quest. Which, for those who've played this game before, they probably know who I'm talking about. Anyways, though, we're going to ignore him for now. And instead, we are going to go back to Venusaur now that we've defeated Krogunk and Spearow in their respective skill games. So with that being said, back through the gates. Thank God for the gate, too, because I was getting thirsty and didn't take a sip of water. We bring you this intermission while Zachary drinks water. We're back here. That water is refreshing. Anyways, though, enough about the water. Venusaur, baby. What's up? Wait, Venusaur? I just call him a... Ah, forget it. Venusaur. What? You defeated Koka against Spiro in skill games? Well, a promise is a promise. I'll give you back Chikorita. You shouldn't play in attractions ever again. Do you understand me? Wait a second. That's not right. Everyone is looking forward to playing the attractions. And another thing. What's this silly rule about not leaving the zone? Why would you limit us like that? Why can't we play where we want? How oh, dare you speak to me like that? I'll tell you why I won't allow anyone to play the attractions. I'll tell you why I won't allow anyone to go to the other zones. It's simply too dangerous. You should all stay here. Stay quietly in the middle zone and keep to all the rules. I can't believe it, Pikachu. It's such nonsense. Show me so that we can have fun on any attraction and clear it. Well, uh, uh, I... Well, you dare challenge my attraction? So be it. I'll change the rules so you can clear my attraction. Succeed and you may play it. Not only that, though, you'll also be free to go to the meeting place. Want to try Venusaur's Vine Swing? You'll need five berries, which we have plenty of berries, so that should be no problem at all to really anybody who's playing the game. What do you say if we get started playing Venusaur's Vine Swing? Here we go for our second attraction, Venusaur's Vine Swing. Swing on the vine and try it for a long jump. The farther you go, the higher your score. So this is essentially long jump, but with a vine rope. So controls are very simple. Shake it up and down to get the vine going. And you want to swing in time with the vine for maximum effect. That's right, the Wii motion is actually going to matter quite a bit here. Also, depending on when you do your jump, you're going to go different distances. You want to make it so that you're at the, not the center of the jump, but a little bit after, so you have the forward momentum still going with you off the rope. You must make your jump before the time runs out, and that's pretty simple. And skillful Pokemon, when it says that, it just means Pokemon that are going to do very well against it, uh, very well with it. So as you can see here, we got quite a bit of Pokemon we can do it with, and... Just because of the fact I like showing... Actually, no, wait. We need to do this with Magikarp if possible. It may not be possible with Magikarp, but we are going to try. Because Magikarp is a god, and we need him to be appreciated. Okay, the goal is 164 feet. I don't think Magikarp can do it, but we're going to try. Look at that determination in his eyes. Also, I like how it looks like he's like on a fish floor. All right. So just build up some power. I really don't know if Magikarp can do this, but we're going to try our best. All right. I say... We go now. Well, we beat the bonus goal at least, but we're not going anywhere close to clearing the attraction. Magical. All right, there we go. We did it. We got the bonus at least, not the actual. What do you call it? Magical. Uh, the attraction clear. Jeez, how can I not talk that easily? Anyways, now we're going to switch it up now. Now that we've tried the, clearly the best Pokemon, we are now going to go to our strongest Pokemon at this event at the moment. 
All right, Emmy Bomb, show us what you got. And, oh, look at Pikachu with the Kung Fu moves, jeez. So as you can see, the goal is like half of what the bonus is, meaning that Emmy Palm should have no problem at all clearing this. Anyways, though, let's get to it. All right. I recommend about six swings if you want to get the best effect out of it. All right, this should do it. Whoa, look at that. 262. Yeah, he went flying with that one. We got the bonus and the goal. In fact, we got like 30 over the bonus. Jeez. Here we go. Attraction cleared. All right. Pretty simple. But also, we got a nice little bonus here. So just by paying five berries, we get the ability to get 200 berries just like that. And you can rack up berries with every Pokemon you meet for the bonuses. So you can get rich in berries very fast. You gotta love Pikachu's dancing, so adorable, my god. Yes. I can't believe my eyes. You cleared my attraction. Let me keep my end of the bargain. I'll let you play the attractions. I'll also open up the gate to the meeting place. Venusaur? What are you so afraid of? The Pokemon in the Metal Zone are not as weak as you think. Did you see them smiling as they watched the fun of the Vine Swing? Even you are smiling. You know things will be okay, don't you? Venusaur. You're so fierce, but I also saw you laughing and having fun. It was a while when you played on my Vine Swing. You weren't afraid at all. I believe in your courage. As I promised, I'll now open the gates to the metal meeting place. Now, anyone may play the attractions. By the way, Pikachu, please take this to celebrate clearing Venusaur's Vine Swing. And that, our second prison piece. Out of 14. Venusaur. Pikachu, I think you should know that I had good reasons. Closing the gates to the meeting place was not an easy choice. I fought with Empoleon, the keeper of the beach and iceberg zones. I fought Blaziken, the keeper of the cavern and lava zones. We fought over the valleys of the Pokemon. In order to protect the metal zone, the gate was closed. I like to prevail my, bleh, my, my friendship with them. I want you to go through the meeting place and visit their zones. You must send my regards to them both. Tell them we should reunite the Poke Park. This is the real deal, Pikachu. Your role is vital now. It seems your adventure has barely started. Wait, I don't even get a say in this? I'm just forced into it? Okay, fine. I wonder what the meeting place is like these days. I'll go and check. I think I... Wait, I think I go out the way I turn left. Wait, I think I go out that way and turn left. What's that? There's no need to hurry, Pikachu. Why don't you go make more friends? Start in the Metal Zone first. And we are definitely going to save our game. I very much apologize for screwing up text like this. I love text-heavy games, but God, I screw them up sometimes doing commentary. It's pretty bad. But yeah, with that being said, that's all we're going to be doing for now in Venus' Vine Swing. We're definitely going to be coming back to getting more of the bonuses, because like I said, if you want to 100% this game, you're going to need all the bonuses for all the Pokemon. But for now, we're done here. Alright, there we go. Now, believe it or not, there is some changes that have happened while we were in there. Like this guy showing up. Torterra is here, baby. Let's talk to him. Torterra! You're the one who made Venusaur return the Metal Zone to normal. That's right, isn't it? Wow. Venusaur, Empoleon, and Blaziken. I hope they learn to live together again. What? You want to have a battle? Torterra here is what I'm gonna call the big baddie of the zone. Basically meaning that compared to all of the other Pokemon, he is much, much stronger. And there tends to always be that one Pokemon in each zone that's like this. And Torterra is definitely this zone's Pokemon like that. Bring it on, your Thunderbolt won't work on me. Some Pokemon are immune to electric, electric type moves, beware. He's got four HP, his attacks are very strong, and you can't use your Thunderbolt. He even tells the different battle themes that he needs business. Alright, there's one. So we need to get four good hits in. And he also gives you some stun effect if you tap into him. So, get the heck out of dodge the second you hit him because you're going to get stunned. Luckily, though, this is going pretty well. If you keep yourself moving, Torterra has a very hard time hitting you. And there we go. Defeated. Oh, he looks so ashamed. That was a good battle. I like you. Call me if you need my help any at all. Wait. Call me if you need any help at all. Bye for now. Holy crap, I can't talk today. All right, well, that would be friend of Torterra. Now, believe it or not, there is one other thing I want to do while we are here, because besides this and Leafeon, we've basically done everything there is to do in the Metal Zone except for the bonuses of the Pokemon and the attractions, of course. 
So we want to head on over here, and if you notice over here, we have a Beedoof hanging over here. Let's talk to him. Oh, what good timing. You know what? I want to bring my family and my friends to the Meadow Zone. The thing is, I don't have any room. I need some more lumber. Why? To build some more rooms. Why else? Will you help me? I want you to break crates to collect lumber for me. I'll also collect some lumber myself. I'm counting on you. So now, this is our side quest that we were talking about. We have to go out and look for lumber. And as you've seen before, lumber is just in the crates nearby. So just break them open and bring it to them. Pretty simple. And for this first run, I won't fast forward it. But for the rest, I think I probably will because it's pretty tedious. But side quest is side quest. All right, Bidoof, here you go. Wow, thank you for collecting some lumber for me. Now I can make the first room with it. And with the power of his teeth, he made all of that that quickly. Dang, he must have got some really strong jaws. Jeez. I want to make the house bigger. My sister here, thanks to you. I'd like to bring my cousin and a friend too. I'm counting on you. Bring, please bring me some more lumber. All right. That being said, let me just make sure I know what I'm doing here. All right, there's another piece of lumber. And you know what, actually? It's not that long. I was kind of over-exaggerating it. You know what? I'm not going to fast-forward this part. You know what? Let's just keep it normal. You're so helpful. Thank you. And back to work. And there you go. I got kind of a mountain going on. My cousin has come to play with me thanks to you. You're so reliable, aren't you? Well, I have another request. I'd like to make this house even bigger before my friend visits me. Please bring me some more lumber. Alright, we gotta go find a third piece of lumber. So let's see here. And I think this is the third piece of lumber they're talking about. Yep, there it is. Got him. Okay, now I don't remember if this is the last one or if there's one more. So if I get it wrong, I apologize, but I think this is the last one. Alright, I, I won't lie. Beavers have always been a really cool creature to me. You know, they're able to build such... They're kind of like... Well, actually, not, they're not kind of like... They're like un, they're like aquatic workers, but they're also on land, too, so it's really cool. Oh, nice of you. Thank you again. Anyways, though, back to work. Move it. And now they got a hill and a small hill. Okay, I know it's a dam, but still. I know I've been relying on you too much, but I need more lumber. My friend has come to visit me thanks to you. Now my grandma is hurt and she wants to come visit me too. Jeez, your whole family must live here. Like, literally everyone that's alive in your family line right now, right now must be coming here because that's a lot of people all of a sudden. And also, as you can see, the bees are actually here. So it's kind of cool. They didn't just show them off in the slideshow there and then just forget about them. And the final piece of lumber, which of course would have to be as far as possible. <sighs> you always gotta love it in side quests and RPGs when they make it so that you have to walk a stupid amount of distance. Like, I don't know what it is, but like most RPGs have that one side quest which will drive you insane. This one doesn't drive me insane, but it's it's one of those ones where I can get if a kid doesn't want to do this. I get why. Anyways, though, oh, you brought me some more lumber. You've been so much help. Now my grandma can come visit me. Thank you. And finally, hopefully, maybe, possibly, the final time we have to go to work. There we go! I take it from that jingle that it definitely was the final one. Everyone loves the zone. It's all thanks to you. Here, have some berries. It's just a small token of thanks. Let me know if I can help you at all. At any time at all. And that Bidoof is now our friend. There we go. And B Barrel came over, and believe it or not, I believe B Barrel is his grandma. So that's a, that's a, that's definitely an older form of Bidoof. Somebody once told me a story. Long ago, a yellow Pokemon appeared in the Pokemon Park, just when it seemed as though the friendship here was lost. The Pokemon mended all the broken hearts far and wide. I see you want to battle, don't you? Um, <laughs> I like it how we're talking about some story about some like heroic Pokemon, and it's like, oh, you want to battle, don't you? Just all, all out of the blue. Let's start, I'm so excited already. And off, uh, she goes? I still don't know if it's his grandma or whatnot. Anyways, though, and, oh, that's what happens. Okay, so I guess if they walk into it while the move's still going on, they get shocked anyways. 
Wow, that's actually really cool. You can place it like a trap card and they can just fly in. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, you must be the one who helped my granddaughter, right? You're not only kind, but strong. I like you. Call me if you need me. Well, there we go. Vivero's our friend too now. And now with that being said, I think that's everybody but again, Leafeon, because trust me, the chances of you catching Leafeon right now are next to nothing. It's it's pitiful how slow you are compared to her. I'm, it's kind of crazy. Anyways, though, with that being said, let's finally leave the zone. We've been here for a while. Sometimes, I just get the urge to look around. I'm Starl, and I can't help staring at things around me. <laughs> I love that. It's kind of funny. Just like, hi, I'm Billy Mays, here with the... <laughs> Anyways. So this is where we actually can, well, look around. This is basically so you can observe and actually see what the world around you looks like instead of it just being kind of there. But yeah, you can just look around. It's a nice little feature, and believe it or not, later on it has a better use. But for now, that's really all there is to it. I like it though, it's a pretty nice touch. Now, let's see here. I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything because I'm trying to remember if Star. Aha, there he is, I knew it. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure that once that happens, Starly will actually be flying around being a friend. So, I figured it was a good idea to go looking for him, and alas, it paid off. Have you seen a red berry or a golden berry? Red berries are five times as tasty as a green berry, and golden berries are ten times as yummy as green berries. Would you like to play chase? Alright, let's do it. I run away. I wonder, can you catch me? Well, to be, be fair, if we're being honest here, if you just decide to fly the entire time, yeah, I couldn't catch you. Okay, let's see, I don't want to hit b -Doof. I We just helped him, I don't want to be a jerk to him. Okay. Whoa, pull the U-turn on me. That was cheap. There we go. Wasn't hard, but that was a pretty solid U-turn, I gotta say. Like, he was like going there and then in like a frame he like turned around you are great be my friend please i'll tell everybody about you guess what all star in the poker park will be friends with you now we can't play the attraction in this zone but don't be disappointed i heard your attractions for flying type pokemon elsewhere so i'll give a little bit of a hint for a future thing that we might be dealing with so thanks darly all right now with that being said i'm not gonna lie, lie anymore even though i'm not trying to lie obviously but now we can finally get going and leave the Meadow Zone because even though this place is really nice and I do like it, I gotta say, I'm looking forward to more adventure. So let's get the heck out of here and get out there to this meeting place we've been hurrying about. All right, we're almost there. There we go. Yes, we do. Off we go. Everybody, welcome to the meeting zone. And hey, chat out, what's up? <laughs> Rock, I heard that you've solved all the problems in the metal zone. You're quite a celebrity. Oh, I have something to tell you. I give your friend Chikorita a poke pal poke poke pick pick a pad too. <laughs> this is your first visit to the meeting place, right? Let me explain some useful things about it. The meeting place is located in the middle of the poke park. You can get five gates, you can go to the various other zones. It's also a place where you'll see Pokemon from other zones. Why not go and say hi to Driftblim, Mistrevious, and Electabuzz? They'll be helping you for now. Oh my, okay. New issue. Slow down while talking. Jeez Louise, man. Basically, he wants, he recommends that we go and talk to all these three people he just mentioned. And that's a pretty good sound piece of advice. So let's get to, get to doing that. Try not give me a Poke Park pad. He said names get recorded in it. Not just any names, the names of fugitives. Okay, not really. But the names of all the friends I make. I'm not much good at skill games, but I got a thought of an idea. Look at this huge tree. It looks like a half-finished treehouse. I'll finish building it and then invite everyone here. What do you think? All right, chikorita has got a goal. That's a good thing to have. Always have goals, kids. It's always a good idea to have dreams. You know, just saying. Now, Mistrevious, you're up next. Mistrevious. Welcome. This is a photo studio. Do you know how to take photos? And just like in Poke Part 2, Mistrevious is our photo girl. Essentially, now we have the ability to use the camera, which is what I was talking about when I said there's something more useful with the first person view. 
So now we can wait for it. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Uh, come on, game, we got this. Okay, come on. <laughs> You've never taken a photo before? Then I'll give you some film. It's a special gift. You can use it to take 30 photos. Say, why, are you, why not take a photo as a souvenir before you leave? And with that, we get 30 pieces of film. Which we can use to take a photo. Which all you want to do to take this is... Go into your first person view. Look around. And click minus when you got what you want in the shot. You know what, Mr. Travius? Since you gave us the film, you'll be the first one to take get a photo. Wait for it. Wait for the perfect shot. Wait for it. It's like we're playing Pokemon Snap. There we go. Got it. Here we go. Keep the photo. And there we go. Got a good photo of Mistrevious. Let's talk to him now. <laughs> How cute is that photo? You can take photos in many spots, even while playing attractions. You can see your photos when you come here. Would you like to see the photo you just took? Why don't you come in? And... You know what? I'll show it off. Why the heck not? Welcome. Can I help you? Yes, you can help me. Come on in. And by going through here, you can actually see all your photos. And believe it or not, you can take these photos on your SD card and bring them to your PC if you have an SD card reader. Which can be pretty cool if you want to make like a quick slideshow or something if you, of all the pictures you took in front of your adventure. So it's a nice little feature. I like how Nintendo added that. They didn't have to do it, but they did, and I really do like it. That's a pretty cool picture, Mr. Eve, you gotta ask me. Alright, looking good. You know what? I'm gonna make sure that we take lots of <laughs> Oh, Pikachu! Oh, that's my favorite loading screen of Pikachu. It's just a tippy toes. Thank you. Please come again. So, what I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna do is that we'll take lots of good photos throughout the project. I'm hoping that by the end of it, we'll be able to make a good bonus episode of slideshow photos of all the photos we took during our adventure. And I think it'll be a nice way to look back on things and really appreciate the Pokemon of this world. Maybe I'm looking into it too much, but I think it's a cool idea. Anyways, final guy we gotta talk to. I like the buzz. Yo, leave it to me if you want to become stronger. Give me bears and I'll power up your Thunderbolt. My friends are coming to the meeting place soon too. They have their own strengths and will train anyone showing promise. We want to train those... Wait. We want to train those who wish to make the Poke Park... Make Poke Park great again? <laughs> make Poke Park great again. Build a wall or some crap like that. There are Pokemon who can train you at the meeting place. This is very useful because... Later on, your abilities at the current moment are going to be do bot diddly nothing. So this is where you're going to be using your berries, because you'll pay these Pokemon in food, essentially, to train you to get stronger at your own abilities. And you can power up a lot of things. Your electric type moves on the Pokemon to power you up. You want your Thunderbolt to have greater range, don't you? Give me 300 berries, and I'll make sure you get a power up. And we definitely want this. Cue to train a montage. Okay, let me give you a tip about Thunderbolt. There, did you get it? Am I doing that? Thunderbolt's range has increased, which, believe it or not, these upgrades are lifesavers in the future, so... Even though, yes, I can definitely see somebody definitely completing this game without any upgrades, but it would probably be much better on your soul if you don't... if you do upgrade. Not, not obviously not if you don't upgrade. But yeah, just looking at this, Thunderbolt has much bigger range already, and if you want to look into our menu here at Pikachu Stats, our Thunderbolt side has gone up, and as you can see, it's almost halfway, but a little bit behind. So that should give you an idea of how much we can upgrade Thunderbolt. So, just like a, uh, Thunderbolt, our other moves can also be upgraded. As you can see, there's a move there called Iron Tail, which we have nothing filled of. So, maybe we'll learn Iron Tail sometime. You never know. You never know. Anyways, though, with that being said, I think this is a good place to call it quits for this episode. So... I want to thank you guys for watching as always. Hope you enjoyed. And next time on Poke Park, I guess we set out on our journey to Link the Broken Bonds of Venusaur because apparently I'm supposed to, even though he didn't even ask my opinion in it. So I'm, I, I guess since I'm happened to be here, we're gonna do his work for us. Work, wait, work for him. I cannot talk. I'm just a mess today. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.